Hello, in this video, we are going to focus on how to calculate the centrifugal force. First and foremost, we need to know that the formula for calculating centrifugal force is F of T is equal to MB square over R. And we got this formula, if you could remember, we have F which is equal to mass times acceleration. And this acceleration represents centrifugal acceleration. Therefore, we write it like this, A of T. And F of T represents uh, centrifugal force. Therefore, the centrifugal acceleration, which is A of T, is equal to, is equal to B squared over R. Hence, we can now write the formula for f of t is equal to m, which is here, times b square over r, which is mb square over r. And therefore, this is the formula for centripetal uh, force. The formula for centripetal acceleration is b square over r. The formula for centripetal force is mv square over r. You can also use m times h, a of t. Now, let us take an example and see how we can solve the above problem using this formula. A mass of 20 kilograms, we have a mass m, which is equal to 20 kilograms. Is moving in a cyclic path of radius 4 meters. We have radius R is equal to 4 meters with a uniform velocity of 100 meter per second. We have velocity is equal to 100. Sorry, is equal to 100 meter per second. Find the centripetal force of the object. Find F of T. To find F of T, this is question mark. We say we use the formula F of T. F of T is equal to M B squared over R. This is an R, sorry. It is not clear, sorry. I mean right to take it m v square over r and this is going to give us remember that our mass is 20 therefore you write 20 this is b before between the two of them there is a times which is a multiplication sign we have v and v is not common therefore we have v here on right but it's squared therefore you write squared here all over all over r which is 4 therefore we have 4 here and this is going to give us 20 times 1000 therefore in this case we have we have 20 kilograms times 10,000 all over 4 which is the, uh, the radius therefore we now have f of t f of t is equal to 20 times 10,000 which is this you just have to add this you write 2 and then write all the zeros 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 200,000 all over 4, which is this 4. And we write your 4. The mass 20 kilograms is moving in a circular path, which is 4. We've written it. B is equal to 100 meters per second. Find this intermediate of Therefore, you now have this. 200 divided by 4 
you have 200 divided by 4. If you divide it by 4, you are going to have 50,000. 50,000. The unit of force is in Newtons. You can as well write it as a Newton. Therefore, we have 50,000 Newtons, which is our final answer. You can as well use, uh, remember that acceleration, oh sorry, force is equal to uh, mass times acceleration. F is equal to M. Therefore, you can as well use other units to do that, the other units of force to complement it. But preferably, you can use Newton as our unit for the final answer. Let us look at another problem. Now, an object with a mass of 8 kilogram, we have mass M is equal to 8 kilogram. It's moving in a circular form with a radius of 3 meters. We have radius is equal to 3 meters at the tangential velocity of 15 meters per second. Have velocity equals to 15 meter per second. What is the centripetal force acting on the object? To find the centripetal force, we use f of t is equals to remember the formula m v squared over r, and this is going to give us m v squared over r is equals to we have m equals to 8. We write 8 times b is equal to 15, 15, then squared all over r, which is 3. Therefore, you are going to have 15 times 15 squared, or 15 times 15. If you use your calculator, you are going to have uh, 225. Therefore, we have 8 times 225 all over All over 3. If we use our calculator again, it's 225 times 8. It will give us uh, 1800 3. And this is going to give us 1800 divided by 3. Therefore, our centrifugal force, F of T, is equal to 1800 divided by 3. Will give us 600. Therefore, our centrifugal force is 600 newtons. Let us also look at another problem. A force, an object of mass 500 grams, we have mass m is equal to 500. Sorry, 500 grams. Attached to a spring, string, sorry, is well around in a horizontal cycle of radius uh, is equal to 2.0 meters, which is 2 meters, with a constant speed of 8 meters per second. Therefore, we have velocity is equal to 8 meters per second. Calculate the centripetal force of the object. Remember that this is given in grams, therefore, we need to convert it to kilogram which is the SI unit of mass therefore this is what we will do here is 500 divided by 1000 now it is still in kilogram and this is going to give us 0 cancel 0 0 cancel 0 5 divided by 10 is going to give us uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 Kilogram. Now, using the formula to find f of t, which is m b squared over r, we will have m is equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times b is equal to 8, therefore you write 8 and squared, which is 
old old wire up, which is radius, and the radius is in two is two. Therefore, we are going to have 0 0.5 times h squared. It is it times it is going to give us 64 divided by two, and this is going to be equals 64 times 0 0.5 is the same thing as to say 1 over 2 times 64, which is equals to 64 divided by 2, which is going to give us 32. Therefore, in this case, we have 0 0.5 times 64. If you use your calculator, you have 32 over 2. And if you also, if you apply the same calculator to divide 32 by 2, by 2 is going to give you 16 newtons. Therefore, we have our centrifugal force f of t equals to 16 newton, which is the final answer. Therefore, this is how to calculate centrifugal force. Thank you for watching.